my name is Martha Lewis, and I am the South Area Administrator for the Pathfinder Club here in Florida Conference. And as you can see, we're out here in the wonderful, beautiful nature, and we're having a wonderful time. All the tents are around, different clubs are here, and in fact, this weekend we have like 18 clubs that are here. This Reveille program is something that we are calling Back to Basics. It really helps the young people and at their clubs to learn different skills. We are doing first aid on three different levels. We also are doing camping skills and we have four different levels on, on that one. And it gives the kids also a chance to learn and demonstrate hands-on experience on what it is to be out here in nature. also do a church heritage program which incorporates a part of their requirements that they have in their classwork at their local club. Church heritage is basically the spiritual part of camp. What we do is we bring different programs, we have skits, we have um, storytelling, we have diagrams and pictures and things that we bring uh, to interact with the kids about different um, stories or different lessons in the Bible that they're learning at their skill level. We have a group of people that they come and they help out and uh, we just we just have fun it's it's just fun to be able to have uh, the freedom to do whatever and but still have it impact the kids on a spiritual level which is the best part we do things here that you would never be able to do you know in a building in a gym or things like that like the kids get uh, a different experience every time that they come and that's that's one of the beautiful things to see how they grow as people as Christians you know as young kids as young adults in, in the day and now Our young people need to be more familiar with the outdoor activities. Outdoor activities such as out in the wild, enjoy nature, which is part of creation. Normally, we take them on a hike in the day and in the night, we take them on a night hike for them to realize that it is safe to be out there at night. Normally, our first tree reveille at Jonathan Dickinson where we do camping skill one, two, and three. Then we do our ranger reveille, which is a canoe trip. We take them canoeing down the Lachihachi River, which is a nature trip. We go down the river and we try to identify edible wild plants, wildflowers, and sometimes we see animals also. The next reveille following that, we do orienteering, which our young people should know to read the compass and that is what it's all about, orienteering. And we take the varsity age in the Everglade for a back to basic. Sometimes we do a cross country, sometimes we do just a track in and do explore, explore nature as it fully. Probably one of the best things I like about uh, Pathfinders is the Reveille's. It's coming uh, to camps and being able to meet new people, meet new kids, see what they like, uh, just get to interact with them on a different level than you would in a regular church. Um, one of the things that really attracted me to Reveille is when I was a kid myself, we used to think that all the older kids were so cool and they used to carry around the hatchets and everything and used to show everybody how to do things and I thought, I want to do that one day. And luckily I did get the chance, you know, with um, participating and then just asking you, putting yourself out there, uh, you could definitely be a part of something that we, of the things that we do here and share beautiful moments with everybody. At Reveille, we also teach the young people how to retire a U.S. flag. Once the flag is worn, we fly the flags in the day. When it's lower, then we cut the flags as according to how the writing say, and we place them in the fire. It's a beautiful lesson. It has a beautiful and nice ending to it. It brings us close to when Jesus leave the earth and he gave the command to his commandment to the disciple. 
that he will come again as you see him in like manner. When reading the retirement of the flag, at the end, it tells us about, um, don't be worried, because whenever we see it again, it will fly in a beautiful state. And as Christian, we look forward to the return of Jesus Christ. And when we see him again, he will be all over, brand new for us, to us. And that is part of what we do at Revenue. I wish that everyone could enjoy this because a lot of people don't like the outdoors, but we are closest to God when we are in nature to see exactly what he has done for us, how he's provided for these animals, and we know if he's going to do it for them, how much more is he going to do it for us? To know that we are here, we're safe, we've never been attacked by any animals, and they are around. We saw a beautiful deer this morning. There are raccoons around, there are wild boars, there are even snakes around. But we have never had any of them to attack us, and that is because, just like in the story of Daniel, where God closed the lion's mouth, he has shut these animals' mouth that they do not harm us. They do come around, but we are never in harm's way. So if you ever get the chance, please come and join us. Just visit. Call us up. Let us know that you want to come. Visit and see what it's all about. Enjoy. God loves you and so do I.